10 on the 10th, but for me, it is also show us your sheet load because I made a sheet load of cards for 10 on the 10th. Now, Crafty Al, the woman who does this, see, call me Crafty Al, makes this sheet load of cards. Now this one made six cards. It says right there, six cards. But what I did was I made it twice. So because I made it twice, I have 12 cards to show you, which is lovely. So this one is also a special edition. Use your six by six paper. And the cool thing is when you use your six by six paper, what I did was I used sets of three because, um, because that's the way that it worked, okay? So I used my Echo Park Mega Pad, Jingle All The Way. Um, this is a great Mega Pad. I just wanna show it to you. So it comes with, here it is, I've been using it as you can tell. So it comes with solid color paper, um, and I use some of that, um, and then it comes with different papers. Um, and different cut aparts and one of the things I like about this is the cut aparts have strips up at the top of them I mean they have um, nice paper on the back. Isn't that a nice paper? Um, but they also have strips so they're sized For a six by six pad. They aren't just like three by fours or whatever. They're sized for nice card a2 card making Okay, so here's another one There's some nice I love that paper. I love that paper. Um, uh, and here's a set of four cut aparts. But I just, and see, here's some more colored. There's a, a colored card stock and it matches. I used some of these as my sentiments. I didn't use all of it. Um, I made, I used some of the colored card stock as some of my sentiment as well. And here we're going to start over again, which is good because. You're gonna see, because I use this paper and this one. Um, you can see I used some of the cut aparts. I used this paper, I used that one. Um, these are just, it just, it's beautiful. I used that paper and that paper. Um, I, I, and I think this starts over again. Yep, then it starts over again. But you get nine sheets of colored paper um, it's huge. So 36 double-sided patterns, nine solids, and three title sheets. So that's, it, it's an amazing pad. So I recommend that. So that's the first thing I did. I used, I did not use the solid card stocks in the paper, in the paper pad to use as my, um, colored card stocks. So the interesting thing with the sheet load of cards is she always gives you a cutting file so, oh, that's birdness. Don't ignore that part. So this is for your pattern paper. You need six A2 card bases. This is to cut apart your pattern paper. And then this is for if you were gonna cut and just use uh, sentence strips. This is for, you need two sheets of eight and a half by 11 if you're gonna use that for your, um, to do the, the strippy strips on the front, this part. Honestly, I didn't do that way. I took one sheet and cut all the five and a half by, you know, the five and a half by two and a quarter sheet things, and then used one other thing to cut all the two and a half, two and a quarter by three and a quarter strips as well. I, you know, everybody's gotta do it the way they want. Um, so, you know, you do what you, you do you. I was doing 12 cards, so, and I used 12 by 12 paper so that I could get it all done at once. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. And of all the ink, I mean, it's really interesting. All the paper that I've got and all the ink that I have, I did not have ink that matched the red or paper that matched the red in the card pack. So, uh, you know, you do what you got to do. All right, so the cards. That's what you really want to see. So I made two sets of six, okay, out of each of them. So the first set I made was the poinsettia. And this is the Petite Poinsettia set from Sunny Studios. Okay, so this was the first set of paper. So you can tell I used this paper. 
So you use, you, you always cut the background out of it. You cut, cut a four by five and a quarter background. So these are the three papers that I used and then you layer the rest of it on top. So, um, I, yep, and all three of these uh, sentiments are the sentiments from the pack itself. So Christmas blessings, we wish you a Merry Christmas and Merry and Bright. So, and this ink is actually cranberry from Concord Ninth. It was the one that matched this dark color the best. And so it's what I went with. And these inks are actually, I think it's Coral Reef. They're pretty, they're uh, Pink Fresh Studio inks. They're not Pretty Pink Posh. They're Pink Fresh Studio inks because those are the ones that come with four. So it's Candy Apple. Um, it's that range. It's Candy Apple, Berrylicious something and Coral Reef. And that's the, that's the set I use to make the petite um, poinsettias. I'll put it down in the thing below so you can see it. And this is Grassy Knoll and Olive. Um, I, I kind of wish I'd used a darker set of for the leaves, but then they wouldn't show up. So, and these are just cat scrappiness enamel dots, which I kind of like because they really shine. So that was one set of three six by six papers. And this is the other set. As I said, I really liked this paper. So, um, and yeah, these were the same. These two, again, were that, um, were strips from the thing. And this Peace, Joy, Love is a sentiment from a, some lawn fawn set I have. I think it's the lawn fawn jar Christmas cookie set, but who knows? I'm pretty sure that's where that one comes from, but uh, and I just embossed it on the green paper on on the green solid that came from the set. So those are those. I had a lot of fun putting these together because I had a lot of help from a uh, green fluffy parrot. Yeah, a lot of help from a green fluffy parrot who is over there chewing on something he's not supposed to. You can tell which set is which because I put one set on craft cardstock and I put the other set on white cardstock. So that came out kind of neat too. Um, and I did that for both sets. So that's the poinsettia six. What are you doing? Chewing on wires I'm not supposed to be chewing on. Yeah. Maybe I'll leave that in the video and we'll tell people what a bad bird you are. Huh? Okay. So here is... This is the snowflake set. So this was trees and snowflakes. And you can see... So this is, this is an interesting set as well. So again, this red background is the cranberry from Concord Ninth dye. Um, and the green, I think, is evergreen from Concord Ninth. No, not, it's a green from Basil. So I don't know. So that green, this green is also from Basil. So the, all the white ones are on green and all the red are on the, are the Concord Ninth cranberry. So these snowflakes, let me tell you about these snowflakes. So this is the reflections. Look at that. That one's coming up again. Um, this is the reflections glitter paper. I bought a pack of it to see if I would like it. And the answer is no. Or I may like it for just cutting basic shapes out of, but cutting these delicate shapes out of was awful because um, the reason it's no shed paper, and it really is no shed paper, and it's nice and sparkly, um, but it's no shed paper because they embedded the glitter into this sheet of plastic film, and the plastic film does not cut for beans. Uh, and it was not my dyes, because this is um, 
uh, a metallic cardstock that I then colored with markers, uh, with a marker to get the gold, and it was amazing. And that is amazing cardstock, and the all of the snowflakes cut beautifully. But this stuff was just a bugger to cut. And um, so if you're gonna get the reflections, no shed cardstock, it does not shed. They're very right about that, it does not shed. But what it also doesn't do is it doesn't cut well for intricate dyes. So don't try it, save your frustration. Save your frustration. So this Believe in the Magic was a Your Next uh, stamp die that I got um, by going to, I don't remember if it was um, a Concord Ninth or um, it was one of the virtual hops that I did. But you can see the set of paper that I used and I think they came out really nice. So these two were uh, sentiments that I made and I popped them up and this was a sentiment holiday fun that came in the set. And so this is, these all these three are sentiments that came in the paper pad. I cut this one down because it was too, I, I just didn't like the way it looked so I did it a little shorter. But they're obviously all related to Santa. Um, jingle all the way, Santa Claus is coming and ho, ho, ho. So um, let's take a look. Uh, and you can do, by the way, you can change the color of any metallic cardstock you want with alcohol markers, um, literally. And uh, save yourself the frustration um, and just cut your snowflakes out of that. So here are the six snowflake cards. Let's move these over. Okay, I might have to move my coffee out of the shot. There we go. So there's those six. And here are these six. So this is, um, these came together really easy. I mean, the actual backgrounds themselves are super easy to do and they're just fun to do too. And if you have lots of, like if your sentiments are done, once things are done, they're really easy to put together. So it's really sort of a, a chop and glue card and I recommend it. So you wanna to go to Call Me Crafty Al on YouTube so you can download your own printable. I'll put that connection in the, um, in the box below as well. And I'll put her design team in the box below as well because her design team is phenomenal. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, 10 on the 10th, or in this case, 12 on the 10th. And uh, I'll see you next month.